B vitamins. Do you take them? Do you don't take them for ADHD? Is it something you should even be concerned about? Well, let's go ahead and talk about that. Hi, Optimal Minds. Dr. Legrand here, here for another video where we're going to be talking about B vitamins and ADHD. But before we get started, if you have not already downloaded my free guide, you want to know more guidance on vitamins, nutrient supplements, as well as different labs that you should be running for ADHD. I have a both guide for parents for kids who have ADHD as well as adults that is in the description below. So B vitamins, why should it be something that you should consider if you have ADHD? Let's first talk about what are B vitamins? What does it do for our body specifically? Well, to first start off, B vitamins specifically actually boost our neurotransmitters in our body, which you know I've talked about this before or if you're actually new on this channel, neurotransmitters are something that are really important when it comes to ADHD, specifically dopamine. So B vitamins can specifically help for boosting dopamine as well as serotonin and other neurotransmitters to help with the functionality and the structure of the brain. But diving a little deeper, if we talk about like B vitamins, such as like B vitamin 12, that specific vitamin is involved in the metabolism of all our different cells in our body. And not only that, the nervous system relies on vitamin B12 to run smoothly throughout our nervous system and therefore can be really important when it comes to ADHD. But let's pump the brakes here for a minute. I'm not saying everybody who has ADHD needs B vitamins. We have to talk about if there's even a possibility of a deficiency. But let's first talk about the possible symptoms that are very common with B vitamins. See if there's something that you should be concerned about, something that you, if you need to actually talk to your doctor, let's talk about the common symptoms when it comes to B vitamin deficiency. The most common that we see is actually brain fog and fatigue that can come from vitamin B12 or even vitamin B6 deficiencies. These two types of B vitamins are the most common deficiencies versus any other B vitamins. Other things that could be associated with B vitamin deficiencies could be mood swings, depression, trouble concentrating, and in rare cases can deal with some hallucinations. All right, so now if you're suspecting, yeah, I have these symptoms, do I have a B vitamin deficiency with my ADHD? So let's first look at the studies that have been shown, at least a few of them, to see if this is something that we should be even considering. These two studies look at specifically vitamin B6. That can be helpful if you do have a vitamin B6 deficiency with ADHD. In one study, they found that vitamin B6, when it was supplemented to people who had ADHD, who had a deficiency, versus people who just use Ritalin, found to be more effective in their symptoms of common ADHD symptoms. However, the problem with this study is they use very high doses of vitamin B6 that could be dangerous. So really I would like to see some follow-up studies on this to see if there is a safer way of implementing vitamin B6. But there's also been other studies where they found that vitamin B6 had moderate improvements in different symptoms of ADHD, specifically in children, such as like hyperactivity. But they found this more effective when they actually combined it with magnesium. So using a combo of vitamin B6 and magnesium, they found more improvement with hyperactivity in children who have ADHD. So yes, there can be some minor improvements for people who have a vitamin B deficiency that can find some improvements in these parts of areas. I've seen it with my patients who tend to come in and have ADHD, and if we run some labs and see if they do have an actual B vitamin deficiency, and by supplementing it or adding it more into their diet or somehow implementing it more, then you can start seeing these benefits start to improve. However, there has to be a deficiency there first. If you don't have a deficiency, you're not gonna see much of improvements at all. Just like with anything, if your body is already producing a knife and there's no problems going on, then you're not gonna see any kind of adjustments or any improvements going on. So the first thing that you need to do is check with your doctor first. If you're gonna start supplementing B vitamins to see if you actually have a vitamin B deficiency for your ADHD. Second, once you have actually figured out that you do have vitamin B deficiency, you do need to actually still ask your doctor what dosages that you need, depending if you're doing it for your child or for yourself for your ADHD. If you have more questions about certain vitamins that you should be taking for ADHD and how does it work in the brain, go ahead and check out this playlist right here. Check it out right now. I go over every specific type of vitamin that you could possibly use for ADHD. So check it out right now. And until next time, remember, you have an optimal mind. Thanks. Bye.